Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm gonna be giving you guys a basement tour. I just finished completely cleaning out and reorganizing my basement and I wanted to share the results with you guys. I have an unfinished basement. I don't spend a lot of time down here and I'm sure lots of people have similar situations, at least in the States. Anybody watching this who is not from like US or Canada, you're probably gonna be like, wow, you have too much stuff, but you know, it's the American way. We all have basements and they fill with stuff. <laughs> but this isn't necessarily a pretty or attractive space, but I made a point to make sure it was very organized. It's useful and it serves its purpose. So I just wanted to share with you guys how your basements and maybe less pretty spaces in your house don't have to be pretty. They can still just be organized and functional. So I am very proud of how organized this basement is. So let's go ahead and get started on my unfinished but organized basement tour. So I'm sitting on the steps right here and I just vacuumed them. They were so disgustingly dirty. We moved in this house a little over three years ago and I had never vacuumed these stairs. They were so disgusting. But yesterday I finished this last project down here, which is what I'm going to share first since it's right by the stairs. I just put this pegboard up. So these are three pieces of pegboard MDF I just picked up at Home Depot. I mounted them on the wall using my heavy duty hammer drill to drill into the cinder blocks. But oh my gosh, I am obsessed with how this came out. This saves so much space and it's so organized. These are all of my seasonal reads and some different like seasonal holiday artwork and signs. I am so happy with how this turned out. It's such a good use of space. I did not have good storage for my wreaths before. They were literally sitting in a pile stacked on top of each other. And now I can see everything that I have. Everything has a place. And I have this little blue table sitting right here because I'm not using it currently. And Sam's 3D printer is currently sitting on our uh, kitchen island and that's gonna live down here so he can plug it into that outlet and have that set up there. We do unfortunately run oil heat in this house. It's not my favorite situation, but I wanted to make sure over here stayed pretty clear. Previously we had like just furniture and random junk piled up over here. I should have filmed it before. I'm kind of mad I didn't. But I cleared up this area so it's nice and clear because this is like the furnace, the oil tank, and just like if anybody needs to, uh, we got the electrical panel back there too. If anyone needs to access it, the space is clear. I don't have to move a bunch of junk out of the way. And then recently we just got this elliptical. So this is our new little exercise area. We have an extra TV we're not using. So we set that up down here. And unfortunately they mailed us the elliptical without a power cord. So we're still waiting on the power cord and hopefully I can get to using that in the next couple days. Here's an overview of what the rest of the basement looks like. Basically, we set up kind of like two aisles of storage here. And essentially, when I was reorganizing and cleaning everything down here, my goal was to have a place for everything. I just didn't want like random items thrown about willy-nilly without a home. I wanted to be able to know exactly where everything is and every single box is labeled. There is hopefully not one box here that doesn't have a label on it so I know exactly what I have. Most of the shelf is my seasonal decor and I tried to keep it organized based on holidays so obviously I have the most Halloween decor. So this whole shelf top to bottom is Halloween. Then the middle one is Christmas, uh, plus a few miscellaneous items. And then over on this farther one is other random less important holidays and some just other random unused decor elements. 
Not only do I like to have everything organized nicely and labeled bins, but I also like to keep things together that make sense being stored together. So like I said, all the Halloween in one place, all the Christmas in one place. So you will see that as a common theme. Oh, there's actually one bin that doesn't have a label. So I'll actually make a label for that right now. So here is my label maker. My mom got me this for Christmas a few years ago and oh my gosh, it is so handy. Well, I don't think I've used it much outside of the basement, but for the basement, this thing is the best. And then just hit the print button. And then this button here on the side is the cutter. So then there is our label. Oh, poop. Here's another one that's not labeled. Gosh, this is Christmas ornaments, I feel like. Guess I'll make another one. So next to the holiday shelf, we have a mix of holidays and like collectibles, I guess. So these <laughs> garbage bags are all our faux jack-o'-lantern foam pumpkins. I just got some of these like space saver bags from Amazon. I got the really big ones to store a bunch of my seasonal pillows. So these are all Halloween pillows. <laughs> And then Sam's got various Legos. We've got tubs of stuffed animals. We're both kind of like collector, nostalgic people. We've got various electronics. We've got soap making stuff. I got stuff from college that I wanna keep. And then moving down, that's our water heater, obviously. And then I'm also nice enough to basically serve as a storage unit for my friend Nina who lives in a smaller apartment so she has a few tubs of her holiday decor and then like these are a bunch of my floor carpet squares these are car mats so these two shelves are mostly Nina's that's mine um, and then just like other miscellaneous things and then on the other side of my holiday storage shelves, I have my pink furniture that has been dragged with me halfway across the country multiple times. When I had my first apartment out of college, <laughs> these were thrifted furniture finds that I repainted and this one never even finished. They are pink and black with a glossy finish. They're not necessarily my style anymore, but I worked very hard on them and I still kind of love them. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. And it got really beat up in the move. There's some big dents in it, which kind of sucks. So it does need a little more TLC, but this was my like pride and joy at one point in my life, so. And then up here I've got a bunch of extra storage bins. This is a second vacuum that I used down here and I also use it on my screened in porch. And then against this wall I laid all of my artwork, mirrors. Whether I am getting around to it still or just holding on to them because I don't want to get rid of them, that is where all of that is living. And I designated this shelf as like my DIY project home improvement shelf. I have all of my paints down here. Here in this container, I've got all my cocks, cock guns, adhesives in there. I've got all of my spray paints organized in this pink bin. So what I ended up doing is taking this laundry basket that I had and I put all of my paint stuff in there. Anything painting related, I just threw in this basket. So when I work on a painting project or I'm gonna go paint a room, I can literally just take this whole laundry basket upstairs with me and then my roller is right here as well. So I'm not like digging through separate little containers for a paintbrush and then for some tape and whatever. I think I also mentioned in a previous video how I've been loving these um, scrapbook paper containers. I use these frequently around my house, so I just repurposed these two paint swatches. So whenever I'm gonna paint a room or do a painting project, I have a whole bunch of paint swatches on hand 
so I'm not wasting them and just throwing them away. I can come back and reference them since they're all like kind of colors that speak to me. These are user manuals for different things around the house. And then on this top shelf, as you can see, I didn't have much space, but I still made use of it. This is my big hardware holder that my dad got me a few Christmases ago. It's got hangers on the back. I need, I want to get it hung up on the walls, but for now I don't have a place with it. You, I have, there's a few straggling things I still want to address in this basement. Then down here are some of Sam's video game stuff as well as in this plastic drawer unit. We've got, oh my God, Disney Infinity some different game stuff. Um, <laughs> we'll never get rid of this. I do want to go get a longer flat container like I use for my florals to hold my Guitar Hero <laughs> Dance Dance Revolution pads. Got a few different furniture items over here. Some suitcases and then over here we are back around to the stairs here and I just got a delivery. I have another shelf that's going to be going here. It's one of those like smaller silver rolling baker's rack shelves which I'm going to use to start growing some little seedlings. So I want to get some little grow lights and start planting some different herbs and flowers to get started for my spring plantings. The shelf was delivered yesterday, so that'll probably be this weekend's project. And then on the bottom of that shelf, I plan to put all these suitcases. Under the stairwell, I have a couple other furniture pieces back there. Christmas trees, and that's pretty much it. So then coming back around to where we started, these are all of Sam's board games on this side. So these are the Ikea units called Calyxes, I think, and they're like the square cube storage. So they work very well for all of his board games. And then we put some of the smaller ones under the stairs, which actually worked out quite well. I made a joke to Sam saying that if we ever get in financial trouble, we have a small fortune of board games to recover from, which was a joke, but it's actually true. This is a small fortune of board games. I'm not by any means hating on it. This is his, this is his hobby. This is his thing. I am totally fine with it. All right, and that is gonna do it for my organized basement tour. I hope you guys got some good ideas or inspiration, motivation from watching this. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video.